How's it going everybody? So today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Um, when I first started this I wanted to try and get out hunting content and success, failures, all that because I know that, that stuff like that helps other people. But the main reason why is because I wanted to get the Word of God out. Um, you know God, he's, he's the most important thing in my life. He, uh, he saved me from who I was and, and tore the chains off that that sin held me down with so I'd like to talk about that you know if, if this is something that you don't agree with something you don't believe in you just easily exit out of the video too uh, we don't need comments or anything like that this is just this is just me telling my truth what I've what I've felt what I've seen and what I've witnessed and if it can help anybody out then that's that's all I want to do that's all I care to do I feel compelled to do this and I feel like it's been weighing heavy on my heart. I, I had it written down because there's a lot of stuff here, so I didn't want to get too far ahead or or mix anything up or add stuff in that didn't need to be in or whatever. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this. So I've already said it in my videos a few times. I have moderate to severe Crohn's disease and colitis. I was diagnosed when I was 15 and there is no cure for this disease. And with already losing my dad at a young age, I started to develop this hate for the world or who may be in control of it. Before the Crohn's, I was already prideful, selfish, lustful, and among many other things. Micah 6, 13. Therefore also will I make thee sick and smiting thee and making thee desolate because of thy sins. God made me a great athlete when I was younger, but I looked at it like it was all my doing, which made the sinning worse. I never put God into the equation and didn't use it to proclaim his name, but only for myself. Matthew 23, 12. For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. This just escalated and added more problems to it like anxiety, depression, and so many more. Fast forward to 17, and that's when I met my future wife. Though the grace that God gave her changed me for a little bit, the chains of my own sins that I never repented for caught back up and began pulling me back down. And at that point, I tried pulling everyone down with me. I couldn't be athletic anymore. I lost every job I had because of my attendance due to my Crohn's disease, and my insecurities and anxiety just got worse. That lasted for the next three years until finally the Crohn's got so bad, I needed 14 inches of my intestine removed. Though I thought that would fix it all, it didn't. Because I never repented for my sins, my sickness caught right back up to me within a year. Nothing would change me. I pushed everyone I loved away. Another year would go by and now we are living in a trailer park. Both of us working and I'm only able to work two to three days a week Sometimes less, sometimes more because I'm so sick. My wife and I are fighting, we're broke, we're stressed, we're struggling, and we're angry. It wasn't until almost losing my wife that I realized I actually needed to change. I've had moments like this before where I changed and I went right back to my old ways. But this time, something was different. It was as if God was showing me that he was there through many different people that I pushed away the whole time. And losing my wife would have been my last chance in a way. That's when I started to take God seriously and read his word, all of his word. So many times throughout reading it, I broke down, but when finishing it, I finally broke down to the fullest extent and came to the realization that the bad things that happened in my life were because of my sin. In that moment, I had this overwhelming disgust in myself and who I became. Not a de depressive state of mind, but a truthful state of mind. I was now able to see 99% of my problems came from my sinful lifestyle. That is when I realized I needed to do things God's way, or else my life was heading for misery and death. 2 Chronicles 7.14 If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, pray, and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive them for, them, for their sins and heal their land. 
and something beautiful happened. Not even a, lo a month later, my wife found out she was pregnant and we had our daughter in 2018. I was told by doctors that because of my inflammation that having kids would be a lot harder th than for most. From that moment on, my relationship with my wife and God grew stronger and stronger and he became the forefront of our family. From the moment of her first heartbeat to now we have seen evidence of God. Psalms 127.3 children, children are a gift from the Lord. They are a reward from Him. Everything was changing before my eyes. Anxiety, depression, anger, lustful thoughts, jealousy. It all began to disappear and became peace. Even though I still have Crohn's, the physical aspect of it anyways, everything else went away. It's only because I truly repented for my disobedience and for going on my own way. Since the time of my daughter's birth, we have done nothing but get closer to God and build our faith and correct ourselves. Fast forward to 2021, and that's the year I decided it was time to get His Word out. November 2021, which was when I began to look at hunting differently and to hunt for God. Some people might think this is dumb luck, Myself and my grandpa think this was an absolute blessing from God. This property has been in our family for 60 to 70 years. And each of those years, there were at least five to 10 people up for deer season. The biggest buck taken from all those years hunting was maybe a three-year-old tops 100 inch deer. The morning of November 15, 2021, my uncle, grandpa, brother, and I were all texting in a group chat saying how blessed we were for a beautiful snow covered morning in the woods. The day before, it was a nasty snowstorm, so the night before, my grandpa and I went to make sure every shack had heaters, and the next morning, everyone walked to their spot, leaving more scent on the ground. Michigan is a very pressured hunting state, so the chances of harvesting any deer after all that commotion was low, but God had a different plan. Like I said, people can think it's dumb luck all they want, but to me, this was a deer sent by God. 60 plus years, this property has been in our family, and that's the biggest deer to ever be harvested off that property. Truthful repentance, which means to walk away from sin, believing Jesus died for our sins and letting him take place in our mind, heart, and soul is why we are seeing God's work and experiencing his peace. Jesus saved me and continues to hum humble me and correct my life. The peace I have, the heart of stone he chipped away to reveal this heart of flesh, is truly the most important thing I can share with all of you, not hunting. In my heart, this is the most important video I'll ever make. God has been putting the thought of this video on my heart for a while now. Sin is real, and it, it's absolute torment and death. But Jesus is real too. He saves and brings peace in troubled waters, and is so much greater than sin. He defeated sin. Even if I have Crohn's until the day that I die, I have peace knowing everything God has ever done or said is true. It's been proven throughout my whole life. Even when I didn't know it or couldn't see it, there was Jesus. He's always there reaching out for us, but we must reach back. In Matthew 7.23 it says, Then I will tell them plainly, I never knew you. Away from me, you evildoers. And I know that that means a lot of different things, but let's go back to Cain in the beginning. And, you know, when he killed his brother Abel and God came to him and he asked him, he said, where's your brother? And Cain denied the truth. And again, he asked him and, and God knew what happened. He already knew what happened. Cain still said, what am I, my brother's keeper? I don't know. And he did know, he killed him. And we've all been in that situation where we've, we've been confronted with the truth and we deny it, try to sweep it under the rug. And God already knew what happened, but he still gave Cain that opportunity to repent and he didn't repent. So he was marked. And you know, we come, we come to Revelation, we hear about the mark of the beast and certain people that will accept the mark of the beast and whatnot. And then Jesus, how he talks about, away from me, or depart from me, for I never knew you, you evildoers. That comes down to repentance. It comes down to 
submitting to God and having the same view of, as, as God has about sin. What it does. Forget, forget sin for a, for a second. This world's been redesigned because of Satan and the fall. The fall of mankind and sin to take us away from God. And we just give in to it by doing more and more sin, which escalates the problem even more. We will not find true change in our life unless we repent of our sins and turn to God, understand what Jesus did for us, what He did on that cross, what it was meant for. You know, to my, to my understanding, for an example, um, I've stolen, I've lied, I've cheated, I, I cheated on a lot of women when I was younger. Um, I disobeyed my mom. Um, I've wanted things others had. I've did I I didn't worship an altar of anything, but I've wanted to be like other people. I've idolized. It basically, basically, my point is, is that in my view, I believe we've all committed every sin. And you're probably sitting here thinking, well, wait a minute, what about murder? No, I haven't killed anybody, not in the flesh. But when you really think about it, Jesus died for all of our sins, all of them. The sins that we committed. How, how did we not commit that murder then? You know, the one thing we all have in common, whether you want to accept God or not, you know, other people can say we have God in common because we accept Him or He created us or this and that, but there's many that deny that. So. With everybody, the one thing we have in common is our sin, is our mistakes, our failures. And even if you don't want to believe in God or nothing, even you know it deep down, if you're truthful with yourself, you will not change or nothing unless you accept the, the sins and mistakes you've made and turn away from them, do something different. Jesus loves us all and He wants us home. He wants us home with Him. But if we don't want to be with Him, he can lead the horse to the water, but he can't force the horse to drink. And that's basically what it comes down to. We have to submit to God. We have to understand that our way, it just desires sin. And going our way, go, even, even if you don't, you don't become sick like me, even if you, know, you don't end up in an accident, you're not an addict, whatever it might be, and it's just these little sins that you think you know, in our mind, we like to decide, you know, lying is not as bad as murder. And in God's eyes, sin is sin. We can't wipe it under the rug. We have to come, we have to, come to grips, submit to God, and have the same view of, as sin as He does and walk away. Walk away from sin. We will stumble, but we should always be humble and willing to correct and change. Always understand our way is not the way. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably thinking, well, what do you mean? You can't get into heaven with works alone. And you're absolutely right. It's, it's faith in Christ. True faith in Christ. And you know, Christ also refers to Himself as the groom and us the bride. And I know that means a lot of different things and, and people interpret it in a, in a lot of different ways. And, and, and a lot of that's true and all that. But there's one way I've never heard anybody interpret it. And it's the way where our relationship is supposed to be. Look at, look at if you have a significant other, wife, husband, um, or you've had one, whatever it might be. Maybe you've had one and it failed and you're looking back at why it failed. Well, if you want to make that relationship work, you're not going to do anything to jeopardize that. Or if you have, you're going to turn away from that and not do it again. And you know, if you're making a mistake that you don't realize, you're going to correct it. It's selflessness, it's, it's, it's absolute love. And that's the relationship we're supposed to have with Christ. True faith will bring on good works. There's, there's such thing as faithless works. Look at Peter. Jesus told him he would deny him three times. And because of the lack of faith he had in that moment, and the fear that overrid him, he denied him three times. So you can sit here and say that you believe in Jesus and all that, but with your whole heart, without practicing it fully, without bringing faith and works together, and that moment comes, what is it actually going to be? 
God is the way. Jesus Christ is the only way. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son so that He could die on the cross for our sins. That's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, I hope it helps somebody. I, uh, like I said, I've been I've been feeling pretty compelled. Um, and and again, you know, I want I want people to experience what I've experienced with Christ. It, me it has nothing to do with me. Um, even telling you with the deer that. I, I've learned a lot of stuff with deer, but even then, that, that was knowledge given to me by God. You know, I missed this deer the year before, and my wife said when I was on the phone with her, maybe God wanted you to harvest that deer next year because he would be bigger. And then the more I sit here and think about it, I've had 90,000 views on that. And that's the first video I ever made. That's when I wanted, I really wanted to do this. Um, I felt compelled in that moment by God that this is what I should do and you know this would kind of help me get it out there more and 90,000 views and you know I've had a lot of people give me crap of some of the scripture that's in there but there, maybe there's some people that have never seen it or they needed to hear it that day or in that moment that's that's what I've experienced through my life and if that's what I can do in this video then that, that's that's what I feel like I was led to do but with God, there's always more work. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this helps. And if you could send, send a prayer for me that I keep, I keep growing and keep correcting myself and stay humble. As always, guys, God bless.